Hey, what's up guys? This is Kobe Cheese. They say that the best way to improve is to learn from your mistakes. And in this game, in the most cases, people don't learn from their mistakes. In fact, they blame their mistakes on other people. So let's just take a look at this game here. And let me show you how not to win at League of Legends. For the first clip, we're actually a little bit behind. The bottom lane did feed a little bit, but it's not a losing situation just yet. The top lane looks like it could be pushed, and most of their team is heading towards Dragon. I'm nowhere near, so there's not a chance that I can get there in time to make a meaningful difference. The best thing to do in this situation is for the ally team, my team, to keep them distracted, but not actually engage the fight since there are five of them, and I'll push the top tower. One tower for a dragon, that's a fair trade, towers do win the game. In fact, if you look mid, you can notice that the mid tower actually died as well, so we would have had a two tower kill advantage to their uh, dragon. Instead, what happens is the enemy team tries to fight at the dragon, and Blitzcrank pulls one in, kills them immediately, and the rest of the team still decides to run in in 3v5, ending up netting them a dragon and three kills, which is pretty bad. With my team dead and them unable to distract them further, I'm unable to continue pushing, which, what a, which I normally would have been able to do. Now that we have three of their towers down, the best thing to do at this point, since they have a few more kills and dragons on us, is to go ahead and ward up their jungle, continue farming, and slowly we'll be able to regain our lead, just because we have that map advantage. Instead, Driven decides to try and counter jungle for no reason at all, and that's versus four of their team. And if you'll see on the minimap, he gets pulled by the Blitzcrank, he gets killed, and the rest of the team get baited by him and decide to go in for, uh, for the kill as well. This is yet another mistake by the team getting baited by the weakest player on the team into dying. What you should have done instead is let the weakest player on the, die, uh, on the team die and perhaps he'll stop doing it eventually. But it's better to have the feeder continue feeding rather than to follow him into sure death yourself. Once again, with my entire team dead, I'm unable to continue pushing my lane and I have to be, therefore, making this push useless. The last two mistakes alone has put the enemy team up 8 kills. Enemy killing spree. Oh my god, these are fucking idiots. Wow. Enemy As you can tell by my frustration in the game, you can tell I'm definitely not satisfied with my team's performance. In order to really seal the deal and give the team the victory, the Sona decides that she wants to solo the team 1v5. If you guys enjoy this new type of video analysis, let me know by pushing that like button and leave me a comment down below. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more. This is Kobe Cheese. Peace out.